Hi everyone. <clears throat> How are you today? Okay, we're on to part two. I have to put my paint clothes on, but in the meantime, what I wanted to do is show you the back. Here's the, whoops, here's the inside of the flower. Mine's been sort of like a tulip, so I'm going to embellish this and brighten it up. <clears throat> Perhaps I'll even uh, use silver leaf. I'm not really sure. Uh, gold leaf, I should say. But in the meantime, I want to I want to make this um, really pop out like uh, like flowers, you know, like a flower that I see when I did this. So I appreciate that, um, you know, people are so helpful, you know, and they send you advice and stuff on, on the groups and um, really, really helpful. I'm sorry to say I'm a bit of a rebel. I don't like I look at tutorials all the time, all the time, um, about everything, about everything, um, technical, uh, technical stuff about, um, uh, I mean, um, when I say technical, let's see, technical as far as how certain fluids that we use, Floetrol, uh, GAC 800, uh, airbrush medium, all, all the golden mediums, there's so many out there from 100 to 900. I mean, they're all for something different. And I, uh, I look, I look them up. Do I remember always? Nah, because I don't use them all. But, um, but I do, I do have airbrush medium and airbrush medium, I have recently learned you can use to make your own pigments and I do have some powder. So, so that's an example of things I look up. I also look up techniques and there's certain artists that I follow. I don't always look at <clears throat> their videos every day, but um, they've made a big impact. They've made a big impact on me and how I do things. So in the meantime, what I want to do is there was a post about somebody who didn't know well, they wanted to say, hey, what's the best tape to use? So I decided before I took this tape off that I would do it, do it in front of you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here, okay? Now, this has hooks, okay? So the first thing I do, you see I took some of it off, the frog tape. You can see how nice and clean it is, all right? Except for in here, sometimes that happens. Um, but I take this off and stand up and get out of the way here and move this down. You can see my, my studio. Ah, I clean it. I must clean it every, every like, you know, week and it just goes right back. So I unscrew these C cups here. Right here like this. Okay, take these off first because I'm not going to pour over this. I'm going to embellish it with some brushwork and possibly some gold leafing. I don't know, but these are pretty heavy duty. Um, they're they're a good size and I love them. They come in all different sizes. These are the big ones that I use for my for my heavy duty canvases. Okay, you know the the larger ones. And I really want them off the ground. And um, I have never once had these compromise the wood. I have never once had these crack the wood. There's certain canvases that don't have this wide frame. Uh, but Michael's does, and that's another reason why I like Michael's frames. So, whoops, there goes my chair. So, you see how this is, all this paint around this? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off. So you see how that is. So I'm gonna start with, out here, I get out of the way. Hopefully you can see, I'll lean this back. I don't want the paint to touch the background. Watch. Look how easy, and look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Frog tape is, for me, I always speak for me. Now, does every once in a while there be something that slips through? Yeah, every once in a while. Maybe I have the tape. It doesn't matter, but look at how beautiful it came off. So I took this one off right here. So let's go down to this part here. I, mean, well, I tend to go in an upward, like this, like upward, you can see that, see, 
and it's just so clean. And I do wait a full solid 24 hours so I don't pull any, um, compromise any of the paint on the sides, cause them to pull up for whatever reason. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's just keep going. And now you can see how beautiful that is. I, mean, I get a little pain here, a little pain here. I can, I can scrape it off if I want, but no biggie. But if you look at the frame, look how clean it is. Isn't it great? Let's do one more side. Okay. We'll go over on this side here. Let's do one more side. Frog tape. I shop around for frog tape because it's, um, you can get it different prices and wherever, you know, just, but this is so, it's very, there you go. So I'm pulling it out towards me and there it is. So here's a tiny bit of piece of acrylic paint, you know, get that once in a while, but that pulls right off. So now I have this beautiful, Look at how look at how beautiful that is, right? It's nice and clean, except for this. Uh, if I want, I can sand this off. If I want, I'm not going to because this will probably be in a frame. Uh, I, I have to decide if I, I I think so. I have to decide what to do with the sides. But the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to embellish it and really. Really make it uh, see the inside of the flower. You, if you saw the video, you saw how the evolution of this and how it came about, and you know that it was. Uh, I, I mean, I hope you had some some good laughs because it was it was a really fun video, and uh, I just wish I hadn't stopped recording because <laughs> it was it was really good. So um, there it is, and um, coming up next. I'm going to put this on my easel, and I'm going to record embellishing this. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.